Well, welcome back to SA Live as we are bringing the show to you from the opening day of the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. And of course, it runs for the next uh, mm -hmm. two plus weeks all the way through the 24th. Oh, yes. And there's so much family fun to have here. And we are right here by a chuck wagon with Buck Green's Chuck Wagon Cook. You bet. <laughs> Glad to have y'all. Yes. Thank you very much. So this was the most important vehicle on the cattle drive, right? And that's why it is a state vehicle in the state of Texas. Seriously? Seriously. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that either. It's one of the things <laughs> Rick Perry did when he was in office. Oh, okay. What? And this is an authentic truck wagon, Oh, right? yeah. This is a real deal. All right. When, about what time era? Uh, probably somewhere between 1890, 1910. Mm -hmm. What all would be on this? Obviously, every meal for breakfast, right. lunch, and dinner, right? Yeah. It would, they would also carry bed rolls, and it, it would have, in the chuck box, I mean, one thing you got to realize about the chuck wagon cook, he was not just the cook, he was also the mother, the father, the doctor, the dentist, the preacher. The therapist. He, yeah. I mean, you know, he, he did everything for, because most of these boys were young, they were, they were teenagers, 16 years old, average age, and the cook might be an older fella, about like me. Uh, so, uh, anyway, they, they, that's who they, who they went to. Okay. So, what would a meal consist of usually? You know, normally, it, 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 a lot of it was dry goods. It would have to be because they had no refrigeration. So, they, they depended on, like, sourdough starter for making bread and maybe pastries and what have you, desserts. Uh, then the rest of it would be dry goods as far as beans, rice, that type of thing. Something they would carry. And then they would actually, you know, because they're taking cattle to market, they didn't want to lose, kill any cattle, so they ate a lot of game. Okay. okay. Yeah. Would he do the hunting? No, he'd send his helper out, who was called the hoodlum. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So send the hoodlum out. Yeah. Send the hood out, get some food. So they had provisions for about how many days? Uh, as far as the dry goods. Yeah, on dry goods, it, it would be somewhere in the neighborhood of, of uh, two weeks, two to three, just depending on what part of the drive they were on. So the further north they got a lot, of, especially going through the Indian Territory, it was a little further distance in between. And Chuck Wagon Coffee's got, got a kick, right? Woo! <laughs> Charles Goodnight says there is no such thing as strong coffee, only weak men. <laughs> 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 Next time my wife complains about how strong my coffee is, that's what I'm going to tell her. <laughs> and you said Chuck Wagon Coffee also can do what? Uh, cause pregnancy. <laughs> that, I had a little bit. Just I, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You might, I think you'd been about and seen us earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, this is fantastic. And um, when they went out on, or when they finally came in, what kind of food did they to get then? Well, after they, they finished the drive? After they finished the drive. Oh, yeah, they'd be going into Dodge or somewhere and, and uh, kind a, of kick up real, their heels. Get a real meal? Well, not so much a real meal. I mean, they, they ate pretty good while they were out. But, you know, it'd be something like that was more like a uh, something that would be perishable. Yeah. So milk. Okay. That, that'd be one thing. Eggs. You know, they didn't have stuff like that on them. All right. On the well, great. Well, appreciate it. Thank you very oh, much you for bet. your time. Enjoy the rodeo, well, sir. Thanks. Y'all do the All same. Right.